also looking into this. So I think it's important that we all look into it. We all kind of put together the information that we gather and then make a decision based on what we can make a decision on. So while we have the environment, New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection, while they have been reached out to for information, they've come back with information. We're still doubting information. So I'm starting to believe that no matter who comes back, unless it supports someone's uh, uh, stand, we're not looking at it. And, and I think we have to get by that. Well, I, I, I and, and this to me is a solid, this is solid to me. Well, the EPA made some recommendations in Flint, and they were a little bit wrong well, on that not, one. Again, we're not in Flint. <laughs> well, we're, we're not in Flint. Flint was not based on EPA recommendations. It was based on greed. So, we, again, we have to look into everything. I hear about people moving out in taxes. That's a part of the state of New Jersey. That is not limited to Gloucester Township. That is true. So that I, is correct. I, I mean, but in Gloucester Township, which is where we are, and which we, the taxpayers, are being asked to pay for I this, Wait, I un I understand that. You are one, in all due respect. That's but what I'm saying is a lot of information was presented tonight. And to your point of being able to look at all of that information, that is another reason why, in all fairness, this should be tabled so that everybody, this whole governing body, has an opportunity to look at all the information, including the information that, that because Mr. Kibblesitz just presented that tonight. I think that the information that he was given. You're saying we haven't done the same thing? Well, I don't know that everybody, I, I mean, you know, have, have, I haven't heard a lot of comments from anybody. There were absolutely no questions. Absolutely none, other than the fact that, you know, you're, you're just moving forward with it. What is the big hurry? Why can't you table it? It's not a big hurry. We've been doing this discussion since July. Why can't you put it up for a referendum? Let the taxpayers decide whether they want this or not. To be quite frank with you, Lynn, I don't think you would want that. Why? So if the, if, if the referendum carries, that's, that's great. That's then fine. that shows that the, the people want it. Do you have any other comments? No, that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Public hearing. We're closing the public hearing. Okay. No, I want to go. Okay. Uh, entertain a motion on the ordinance. I'll make that motion. Is there a second? A second. On the question, Tracy, you want to add to that? It's on the question. It was just one of the things that I noticed that no one had brought up, and one of the things that I have also researched was from a safety aspect of the different injuries that you um, get from playing on natural grass versus artificial turf because of the beating that the natural grass takes. Um, there are reports that show that there's more injury, knee injuries, um, you know, diff falls, different things. So that was an interesting report that I had read about the natural <coughs> turf versus synthetic because of the beating it takes. Right. Madam Clerk, roll call. Yes. 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 Ordinance 0-16-04 is ordinance to exceed the municipal budget appropriation limits and to establish a cap bank. Uh, this allows us to uh, uh, increase it to 3.5% of the previous year's final appropriations. Tom, you want to add anything to that? Yeah, this is the annual call-up of, of cost of living adjustments. Yes, it deals with the uh, appropriations within CAP, allows us to go to the 3.5. Uh, most municipalities pass this, and we have consistently passed this as long as I've been here. I entertain a motion. I'll make that motion. Uh, is there a second? Second. On the question. Roll call, Madam Clerk. <laughs> Yes. 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 Oh, I'm sorry. Can we go back? All right. We'll open a public hearing on 0 16 04. Thank you. Seeing none, close public hearing. We'll do a review again. Rookie mistake. Uh, Madam Clerk, I'll make that motion. Is there a second? Second. On the question, roll call, please. Yes. 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 
Yes, thank you, Tom, for bringing that up. Uh, next, we have a resolutions of consent. Uh, resolution dash 037 to uh, zero dash, uh, dash 049. I entertain a motion to accept the consent agenda. I'll make that motion. Is there a second? A second. On um, the question. Roll call. Yes. 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 Next, we have a regular agenda. Madam Clerk. Uh, this appointment was made <coughs> at our January reorg meeting, but the county had requested to have it in a certain format. Um, so, Madam Clerk, this is the format that's appropriate to uh, the county to appoint Judge Trayvon, Nicholas Trayvon. Mm -hmm. I have a motion. I'll make that motion. There a second? Okay. On the question. Roll call, please. Yes. 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 I 
entertain a motion? I'll make that motion. There's Second. On the question? Roll call, please. Robinson? Yes. Yes. Madam Clerk, we do not have any GT Gov access emails. Correct. Uh, we have our public portion, our second public portion. Uh, each speaker is limited to five minutes with a maximum of 30 minutes for our public portion. <coughs> Everybody wishing to speak. Mr. Kibbles, this. Hi, Council. Jim Kibbles, this. Ariel. Question. Um, RCA which was the uh, Recovery Court of America. There was a settlement put in front of the planning board. And I was wondering, what was the result of that uh, settlement? They can help me out on this, but it was the original application was for 37 uh, units on the site. That was the original application that was denied by the planning board. Uh, the settlement, uh, there was an agreement to be presented to the planning board two weeks ago, tomorrow and uh, their application for the 37 beds was approved. Okay, so they basically got everything they asked for? No. The 37 no. beds and the additional elevator? They, they what, uh, I don't know the full uh, application that was before the board, maybe Ken can respond. They also were asking for accessory uses, which is uh, 300 and some residential units. Uh, Planning board approved the 37 bed project. Period. Period. <coughs> okay. Zoning board, the applicant went to the zoning board for an interpretation of whether or not they needed a use variance to have the, what they're calling inpatient recovery housing. The zoning board found that they did need a use variance for the inpatient recovery. So now they're going back to the zoning board. Question on that uh, follow-up. Uh, when they go for the 300 units and they get approved, would they be required to do a traffic study? Yes. With any application, the traffic study requires. Any major site may require mm -hmm. like okay. says, a traffic impact statement and an environmental When they do a traffic uh, study, do they consider any type of accidents that have occurred and uh, any emergency responses? Or do they just do a, a count of cars that drive across there? Typically, if the car comes at uh, intersections, we have an ordinance uh, that we have to follow. A lot of traffic engineers that have a uh, standard protocol that they use to do these studies. But typically, if they, they try to uh, determine a level of service, if, for example, uh, level of service is based on time delay. So if you have to wait, 10 seconds, 15 seconds to make a left turn, turn, left hand turn. I don't think it's totally accurate. That's probably a level of service of D for a fail. So it's really like A is a good level of service. So that's basically what they do. And Ken, good on those traffic counts, they're done at different parts of the day uh, and also different times of the day. hours and also on the weekends as well. Yes, AM and the PM peak period. Right. What I'm, I'm wondering is in this case with the college across the street, and I don't have any facts or figures, but I'm understanding that there are a, a number of accidents occur in that area, and they may, maybe that should be also considered in the traffic study, so that if the, if the roads have to be widened or whatever, that would be included. I do not believe uh, traffic accidents are included in traffic impact statement, but you're more than welcome to attend the meeting and bring that up. <coughs> But just, around. Jim, if I could just add to that, uh, when an application goes to the planning board, it also goes to the traffic unit, to the police department, and the, the traffic uh, lieutenant, lieutenant uh, Brian often, you know, he provides comments and signs off on the application as well, or make rec makes recommendations. Okay, very good. This is the one that you'll look at the major intersections and roads.
Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mr. Palladoro. Good evening again, Councilor Ray Palladoro. Ariel, four quick points. First off, uh, let's say thank you to Gloucester Township Police Department for their quick response and taking care of those that uh, were in need and in trouble during this storm. Great job, Chief. Uh, also, I'd like to give uh, my appreciation to the uh, Public Works Department. Did a pretty good job. I would say great, but there was two streets that you forgot in my development, one of which was mine. But around my development, did a nice job. They cleared it out. They salted it. Uh, they were around the... Uh, streets were there, right? Not to worry. It was, it was taken care of. It was taken care of. Yeah. And... Uh, you think it was deliberate there, right? No, I don't. No, I don't. Uh, I did find it funny, but uh, they, they came through uh, early Saturday morning before the sun came up, and then, they, then again on Sunday, so, uh, it, like I said, uh, hey, they were out there cranking it out, but uh, we appreciate that, it made for the two sunny days for the things to go down and us to get around and everybody to get back to work Monday. Uh, thirdly, um, we didn't have an invocation today. Is that, uh, are we going to normally go back to uh, prayer before our, our meeting or this, and uh, she was scheduled, um, maybe she wasn't here because of the weather. Understood. I just want to make sure that the a new regime or new whatever, change yeah. our, we're going to continue on with that because this yeah. is one of the things that I do uh, like about the township. And that being said, uh, I myself uh, pray that if now that you move forward with this turf, I pray that you spend responsibly. You look out for the taxpayers, and above all, I pray that the long-term effects of these fields are good soccer, good football, good lacrosse, and no issues other than that. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else? You, sir. Uh, Sam Sweet from Ariel. Um, I have a question on RCA. Yes. So I don't know if I direct it to you guys or I just want to clarif here, we'll clarification on something. I heard. He's reapplying for the 327 bed or zoning there. Did I hear that correctly? He's most likely going back to zoning for that. Um, yes and no. Uh, yes. Okay, so, so uh, the reason why I'm being vague is because I haven't really looked at it. But the, the individual housing that they initially proposed, 300 some housing units, townhouses or apartments, mm -hmm. that's not being proposed. The sober living community. But part of their application does provide for sober living while they're after they've been out of detox. It's, it's a big question. So essentially, it sounds like he's going back to get what he originally wanted, but in a different way. Just kind of reforming it or reshaping it or changing a couple of language here. Um, with regards to the traffic study, the last traffic study that they, that they did, because you guys are in charge of the traffic study, one of the things that he stated, their engineer, was, oh, well, we didn't look at May because May's not a busy time. Um, I beg to differ, May, you got graduation, the fields are in full use at that point, and is there any way we can have them look at the busier times? Can we determine that from the police aspect of what's the busiest time 
for that because i'm thinking between proms between graduations between soccer between the cross now and especially with synthetic turf you can have a lot more activity or over there are we going to take that in consideration with a police with a uh, study i think that's a request that can be made when the applications heard at the zoning board uh, so uh, yeah. they're properly notified on there they're posted on the uh, townships website uh, with the agenda uh, or you can always contact Mr. Lechner's office when that meeting was Okay, there. because they were they were like, oh, well, May, they kind of blew us off with their last traffic study. And they were, the, so... The, the traffic engineers, there's a certain protocol that they, that they use. Yeah. And they have a local ordinance that they have to also abide by. Okay. Yeah. And the board, the zoning board of adjustment is defined by the official buying. It's sort of like a judge and jury on the application, so I'm not sure... Yeah. And when is that hearing? The zoning board hearing? <coughs> Tentatively February 24th. There are the second and fourth Wednesdays of each month. Yeah. Zoning board. That was very good. Okay, and we can find that online? It'll be posted or? It will be posted if you go to the township's website, click on the departments, go to community development, and then scroll down. <coughs> That was it. All right, thank you. Thank you for your time. Good evening. Good evening. <coughs> well, Mr. Kibble, A quick one. Uh, uh, resolution 54 that you just brought in on Iron Horse. Yes. When will that be posted on the website? Uh, you know what? Since, since we had the reading today, can you post that along with our regular agenda? Is that something that... This agenda? Uh, but we no. <coughs> we can post that. We'll do an yeah. Tomorrow. 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 Okay. Under the township clerk's uh, website portion, or it'll be where the attached to the agenda. Normally are. It'll basically be like an amendment to the agenda. Okay. It'll be an add-on. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Any others? The second public portion. Calling our directors. teams, football, and lacrosse maybe be competitive and always show sportsmanship regardless of what type of field they play on. Thank you. I would like to also thank the police department and public works for their efforts this past weekend. And I would also like to commend Orlando for uh, the, his efforts with the Martin Luther King Day of Service. I was able to attend it and participate with one of the projects and as always it's an outstanding um, turnout and grows bigger every year and I couldn't be more proud to be a part of a community that um, participates and volunteers their time on their day off uh, to do the things that we had done and it was nice um, to hear all the comments from people that do not belong to Gloucester Township whether they participated that day with us or learn from hearing 
me and others talk about what we do. Um, thank you for continuing to do what you do and going above and beyond to make sure that we all uh, continue to share Dr. Martin Luther King's dream. So thank you. I want to thank everyone for coming out today. Uh, this evening, uh, thank Public Works, uh, uh, our police department, uh, fire EMT that got to our residents. Uh, I spoke to the uh, mayor today and we were talking about um, the cleanup and the first priority was to make our roads passable. And we understand that there are big mountains in, in, in certain neighborhoods and that's the next step in trying to, we're not going to take the entire mountain out, but alleviate some of the height on the mountains of snow that are in our neighborhoods. Um, I want to also thank the, uh, I said at the beginning of our Martin Luther King Day service, we had 539 people there. Uh, we were probably close to 600 people. So I want to thank the residents of Gloucester Township that came out and volunteered their time with our 25 projects. At our next council meeting, all of our project leaders are going to be recognized by council and the mayor uh, for volunteering because uh, they made it a day on rather than a day off, and they gave up their, they gave up their time. And this is who we are as a community. We get together, we hold each other up, and we support each other. So I want to thank all those that came out and our project leaders and for the township to continue to support this project. Uh, with that being said, I entertain a motion. So moved. Close. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Thank you very much. Have a good evening.